Welcome to Rock Talks. Today we are talking to John De La Vela from Ego Kill Talent and former Sepultura drummer. He told us everything about his recent tour with Metallica in Brazil and where he stands on James Hetfield's breakdown on stage. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. By the way, if you see a little advertisement at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the video, please do not skip it. By doing that, you're helping me a lot. Come on, guys. It's just a few seconds of your life, and it will really make a difference for me. I'm counting on all of you. Enjoy the interview. Hello, Sean. How are you, man? Thank you so much for your time. Welcome to Rock Talks. Right on, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. I really <laughs> appreciate your time, man. Of course. All right. So let's get right into the music. You just wrapped up a, a tour with Metallica in South America, right? Yes. That so was like to tour with Metallica in 2022. Man, I was uh, just talking a few minutes ago with a friend. Uh, it's it's such a big mixture of sensations at the same time, you know, because we, we've waited so long, man. I mean, every band in the world was just like going crazy because, you know, all of us, we had to stop for, I don't know, two years without playing shows and doing anything, you know? So that was pretty frustrating. Uh, Ego Q talent, we were in such, a, in such an alignment with time like a couple of years ago, just everything so aligned and so ready to, you know, to start really playing all over the world. And we had all those festivals booked and, you know, um, a big tour with System of a Down, shows with Metallica, shows with Foo Fighters, you know, a bunch of really great things. But then yeah. the pandemic hit and then we all, you know, as everybody else, you know, just had to wait for long two years and uh so yeah man i mean besides of course i mean playing with metallica the metallica is the biggest rock band in the world so i mean just to have the opportunity you know to sh share the stage with those guys it's just amazing man it was a blast we were so happy and you know so grateful uh for being able to do that but uh as i was saying it's just like a big mixture of feelings you know because we waited for two years and then all of a sudden we are like playing huge stadiums you know and back to the business again we went from so, here to there like, yes like yes like yeah it was a long way but um the band was always ready you know we've been we've been doing this our whole lives we have a big uh story individually you know uh before ego q talent so all of us uh we we all been through a lot you know with the previous bands and stuff so we had a lot of um a lot of experience but yeah man we're so grateful now so grateful so um it, it feels so good to be back you know back on the road and yeah just so okay. happy man yeah and you got the chance to hang out with lars and the rest of the band as well yes right? we did actually yes and um it's crazy because it's something that when when you are um, an opening act, the, the opening act, the band who's opening the show is usually a big problem, right? I mean, yeah. you were, yeah, right. because you're in the middle of it, right? I mean, it, I'm, I'm speaking like I'm, I'm, I'm being very like, um, if you think about it, you know, uh, there is this huge thing already set up. Oh, for yes. for the for the shows and then there's the the band who's gonna open the show and bring all the equipment and do all the, the you know so it's you're usually, talking about the logistic of the event yeah usually usually it is a problem but um we managed to do everything in such a nice way because we have like a great team with us and so everything worked very tight you know we deliver the, the 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 set on the right uh, time, so the the timing was great. Um, so everything was really good, but um, 
we 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 didn't have any like expectations because it's you know that when you're playing with such a huge act like that most of the time it's not gonna you're not gonna have a lot of time with them because they have their own you know their own things to do and really busy. interviews and timing and you know and the relaxation before the show sound checking out all that so we weren't we didn't have any expectations you know whatsoever to uh have a chance to meet them but of course we really wanted to do that because you know first of all uh metallica is such a huge influence in the yeah. music that we play right so um there's that and there's also the the fun the a little the fan part of it you know like we're all fan of them you know fan of of, uh, of metallica so uh, we really wanted to, to, yeah, yeah, to had to had a, a, a little, you know, even if it was like just a little time, just to say hello, and but it, it all uh, actually happened really naturally because on the the second show, we were like just getting ready to go on stage, and Lars came in the dressing room, you know, all of a sudden, like mm-hmm. no, he didn't say anything, he just went there. And we were like, what the fuck? What should we do now? Because, you know, like, Are you lost? the man is here, man. So, so it was so cool because that, bro- that broke the ice right there, you know? So we cool. just started hanging out and just talking about the road and, you know, just talking about everything there. And they were such nice guys, man, with us. Like, they treated us so well, all the their team. And, you know, um, so they really... They really uh, made us feel like home, you know, and and that was that was really incredible, you know, to um, to think about because as I was saying before, you know, such a huge band, they don't even have to do that, you know. Yeah. Of course, they 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 they. they I'm not saying that they they could, you know, just be just uh just bad people or something like that. I'm just saying that they don't have to be so nice you know what i'm saying like it would be enough like just to, just to have us on tour it's already awesome you know so but they were really nice they went to the dressing room so lars went first and then we had a talk and then right after him james came and uh we talked to him for a while and then after the show in uh, sao paulo we all we all went to this place to have dinner and really had a chance to talk and talk about music life and it was such a great experience. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yes. Yes. So despite all the success for Metallica, they are really humble and down to earth guys. They are. They are. It's and awesome. it's it's not as, as I said before, you know, it's not something that you you expect, you know, because they're such huge such a huge band, you know. But yeah, they are very down to earth, very humble. They treated us, treated us very nice, and we felt like we were a family. And this was your second time opening for Metallica, right? You got the chance. It was, to, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a complete, before. yeah, it was a completely well, different started. perspective, right? Because when I played with them uh, with Sepultura, this is back in 2010. Yeah. We played Morumbi, which is the same stadium that we played in São Paulo mm-hmm. uh, this time. Um, yeah, that was incredible. That that was such a different thing because Sepultura is already a very um, a big band as well. Yeah, yeah a, a huge act as well, you know, and very well respected by those guys, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was a different a different thing, you know. But so cool too, man. I mean, they they were they were always very nice people, and yeah, it's a <laughs> blast. Yeah. So did you get the chance to see James uh, Hetfield the day he broke on stage? I think it was in Vail or something. Yes, we we on that show, that was the last show, right? So um, uh, we had a chance to meet with all the band before. So we took the pictures with the bands, you know, yeah. both of, of the bands together. So we did that picture and then they went on stage and right after that show, they went back home. So. They didn't stay there for for any hangout or anything. So the last time we saw them was backstage right before their show when we took oh. the picture. But um, but yeah, man, that 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 little thing that he, I don't even know how to describe that because that was so deep, man. I mean, to right. everyone, to everyone who has a band or, or wants to have a band, you know, 
that's such an enormous um, part of it, you know, just to be, just, just to humanize. I don't know if you can use that word that way, but yeah. it's just to bring it, bring it to the, bring it down to earth. It's like it's normal people, man. He's just a regular guy, who is a, an incredible guy, an incredible player. He happens to be in the be in the, in the biggest band of the world, but <laughs> but he's a normal guy, man. He has his insecurities he has his fears and just like everyone everyone else you know so it was so cool to see someone uh, with that you know of that caliber just being on stage and being honest and saying that he was insecure and he has his brothers to back him up that was such a great message man for all the bands in the world i mean too you know because it's 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 all about that, you know, I mean, if you don't have that friendship, if you don't have your, your brothers with you and, you know, if, if it's not a relation, like a strong relationship, it's not going to go anywhere, you know, that's, Maybe. that comes first, you know, and then the music, of course, and the art and the, and everything else. But dude, if, if you can't, if you can't be um, uh, real with your friends, you know, and be humble and, express your 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 things there you know your own things there then it doesn't make any sense you know so yeah. it was that that was really strong man i've i've never seen that before actually i can't I, I was thinking about this yeah i was thinking about this even a week after after it you know like i i can't remember any of the shows that i've played or any bands that i played that i saw something like that happening live you know like someone like james coming to the microphone and saying like yo i'm real this is real man this is my life tone as well just like yeah you, it's right? so so cool man it's so cool yeah. that was and i really bet amazing. most of the bands from that generation you know early 80s and uh, most uh, frontmans and, and drummers maybe as well they feel the same way, but they don't tell it to the people in front of, of like 60,000 people, right? Of course, of so course. You I mean, that's, <laughs> to do yes, that. it's, you, you got to have balls, man. And uh, it's such it's such an special uh, time to do that, you know, because everything's so plastic now, you know, like yeah. everything's so like everybody's so much about yeah, uh, off, the, the, uh, yeah or how how beautiful you are how strong you are how awesome you are and all the uh the, the media the social media thing you know so that was very that was brutal brutally honest you know that it's something just it's just amazing man and to come from a guy like that it's, it, it it means so much it means so much i agree know? so but being totally honest you know james is almost 60 years old i think pretty close Yes. And Metallica, like for the past 15 years at least, uh, they are playing really old school thra uh, thrash metal eh? for the from the first four albums, you know, really yes. Kill All, Ray Alignin, Master of Puppets and Justice for All. Yeah. And all those uh, songs are really uh, demanding physically, right? They are. So yes. uh, being honest, how long do you think Metallica will last playing that kind of music? life that's hard that's hard to say man it's really hard to say because as you said you know it's so demanding you know especially for Lars man it's a it's a it's a it's Every not day. a it's not a uh, it's not a not an easy task man to do a show like that you know two, hour, two hours and a right? half yeah two hours it's long. a lot dude it's it's really demanding physically you know so it's hard to say man it's hard to say because I mean, that's that's their life, you know. It's it's what they do, you know. And Lars, I don't know if you had the chance to to read the uh, the biography, Mick Wall's biography on Metallica. I know. It, it's really it's really amazing. I haven't I've, I haven't read the whole book yet, but the 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 the, the right the beginning, like the, the the first half of it, it's Lars, man. He has such an incredible. Um, I don't, I don't even know how to put it, but he decided to be where he are right now a long time ago. He decided like when he, he didn't even play the drums when he decided that he was 
gonna be on the yeah, biggest fucking that. band in the world you know so it's it's a it's a very very uh beautiful story man to see a guy coming from europe to the united states and then meeting everybody and you know struggling and and doing what they do and and being that huge now it's it's an amazing story so uh that's that's what he is you know and it's really hard to say it's hard to say because it depends on how he's uh, he's being you know uh caring about his uh his physical yeah. uh, thing you know his health and uh it's it really depends on that so if he can keep keep healthy and you know just being um uh yeah if he can, he can keep healthy then i would say a few years still man a few years yes at least another it, decade let's hope yeah yeah yeah, yeah hopefully <laughs> yeah. Yes. all right so what's new for uh, ego kill talent uh, are you guys uh, trying to record another record already yes we are we had to um we had to put out our our last record the dance between extremes in the middle of the pandemic because yeah. the pandemic happened and we couldn't That's play true. live so yeah so we we had just recorded that record over 606 studios which is uh dave Grohl's studios in la so we spent a few months there we recorded the record we were very pumped uh with it and uh unfortunately the the pandemic hit and then we had to sort of slice the record and 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 do it like piece by piece right instead of like just releasing the the whole record okay so uh we did it in three parts or four i can't remember now but any anyways um so now now is the time to start playing again right so we just did this uh this uh the the four uh stadium shows with metallica and uh we're going to europe next week and then we play all the most of the biggest uh festivals over oh, there yeah. yeah so we play rock and ring rock and park nova rock rock and rio lisbon um uh what else um uh, there's the, the the one in france uh what's the name it? hellfest yeah we play a bunch of those grass pop and uh oh. yeah so it's gonna be amazing man i can't i can't wait i'm very excited about it uh oh, yeah. just to be on the road again you know uh, but after that, so we spend a month doing the festivals and then we go to the US for a little bit and then we start, um, you know, writing and the, the process of the, the, the new album, the new things, the new recordings, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're starting to focus now right after this tour. But also, you know, it's probably going to be more shows. There's more festivals. There's a few festivals um, in the United States. This is like, uh, I guess, October, towards the end of the year. We have uh, Aftershock. I think we play Aftershock. We play a few shows there. Uh, but yeah, so a bunch of shows and uh, just writing new material and probably releasing a new album next year. That's the plan. Do, do you guys already have some ideas for this next album, some de uh, demos? We always, we're always uh, writing music, you know, here and there um so probably we'll just start like putting together bigger pieces of it and just trying things here and there uh we don't have like a an actual like demo of songs you know and we also we're, we we have this idea for this new record to try to um take it to a little more uh loose uh thing you know instead of uh being very like uh like do a demo uh pre-production and then record we really want to do like more uh or in a more organic yeah. way yeah so let things happen a little bit more you know just to try it differently this time so we don't have like the songs yet but we have a bunch of ideas and a bunch of songs here and there that we will probably put together and just play a bunch of things and then decide you know whatever is going to be on the record so we don't have actually like a you know like a demo of songs like a plan yeah. to yeah to it's there's not like such a solid plan yet you know
So maybe the, the musical direction for this new album will be a little bit different than the previous ones. Yeah, well, well think of this this way. It's like we are a kind of a band that we don't want to have um, a recipe, you know? We, we really like going towards a more um, spontaneous thing, you know? So, um, it, it's gotta be, it's gotta, it's gotta be good for all of us. That's the main thing, you know, like if we're playing and we feel good and we, we think this song is beautiful and there, there's a good melody, it's a good song, then it's, it's great. You know, so it, we, we don't really care about the style specifically, you know, like it, it we're not a band that uh, if we're playing something that it's not on this style, we're going to do like, no, this is not going to be Eagle Kill Talent because it is, you know, we, we come from uh, different uh, places, musically speaking. So all of us, uh, even though we, we hear and listen to a bunch of a lot of the same, we have our own uh, things as well, you know, so um, we're not we're not uh, expecting to have a recipe like a ready ha recipe for each song, you know, like it, it doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be rock. It doesn't have to be metal. It doesn't have to be pop. Yeah, it's, yeah. Let's just let's just let it flow and see where it goes. And if it hits us and if it feels good, then it's awesome. You know? It actually shows on, on your music. It's really different, you know. Yeah. Yes, yes. We really like dynamics and exactly. that whole that whole idea of having, well, there's me and uh, and Rafael playing the drums. So it's two drummers in the same band. So and all of us play play the guitar. You change so instruments. Yeah, you yeah. change yeah. instruments during the set and that that enriches so much the 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 writing aspect of it, you know, because it brings a lot more things to it. You know, because when you are in a like on the same lineup, usually it's gonna be towards the same path. You know, the same ideas. It's like I, I'm probably gonna have my own ways of doing like a few uh, grooves or phrases. But Hafa, he has a different way of thinking, and just just by switching the drums, then you change everything. You know, that you change the perspective when you're writing. So this is, it's such a, uh, at the same time, it's, um, it, it's not an easy thing to do, but at the same time, it brings so much to the table, you know, because yeah. it's just different styles, different, the best. different, yeah, it's a different way of thinking, you know? So um, we really like the way things happen when we, we, we do the, when we change, you know, a spot. So it's like the band sounds like a band, so if you go to see live, so if you go to see us live, you're gonna see that it it sounds like a band. It's the same time. This the, it's the the whole time the same band, but it changes a little bit the color of it when we change the the instruments. You know, so it's yeah. it's, it's it's really really cool. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, different. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.